Hey, it's Tim here. Have you ever wondered what a Tableau bookmark is? Or maybe you've never even heard of them before. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you what they are, how they work, and how to add them to your workflow. All right, let's get stuck in. Right here on my desktop, you can actually see I've actually got a Tableau bookmark already created. It's this uh, Tableau icon here. You're probably familiar with this when you look at a Tableau workbook, but it's got a little bookmark on the icon itself. But in order to create them, you've actually got to have built something. So we're gonna go ahead into a workbook. And if you're following along, I'm just gonna use Superstore Sales, the American version, which is here on the bottom left. I've just highlighted here, Sample Superstore. And if we click on that, um, it'll open up a data source for us to start working with, and we have a blank workbook. Now, if I just build some very, very basic charts here, I'm not trying to be impressive. I'm just gonna drag cells onto rows and uh, open up the product hierarchy and bring in subcategories so we have a little bit of variety. And then I'm gonna open up another sheet. I'm not even gonna name them. I'm gonna drag cells onto size. Then I'm going to drag a category onto color and that will automatically create us a tree map. I want some information on this tree map, so I'll hold command and I'll drag cells onto label. That on a Mac allows you to basically copy the uh, pill to the mark that you've dragged it onto. And then we'll also add the category on. Again, I'm holding command there and that will name them for us. We'll go into this label and make it a little bit tidier. This is opened up off screen, so let's just uh, bring this here. And let's just uh, left align these um, and let's make this a little bit larger and then make this uh, slightly darker as well and bold. Let's just hit apply and there you go. That's um, that's worked out pretty nicely. I'm pretty happy with that. I should have left the automatic coloring because white is actually better here, but I'll just leave it like that for now. And uh, we're pretty much good to go. The last thing I'll do is I'll draw a map. So this is essentially like a speed challenge uh, classic here. So I'll just double click state. This should bring us all the American states. I want to make this an actual map. So let me change from automatic, which gives us circles to a map. And there we have it. Now, a little tip, I like to have my map layers uh, set up in a slightly different way. If I'm only showing something that's very basic, I actually like to wash out the background entirely and then give the state colors a little border around them and it looks just so much nicer. People, people, you know, when they look at this map, they know this is the United States. I don't need all the context in the background that lets them know it's a map. So the last thing I'll also do here is I'll add region onto color so we can see the different regions. And now I think we're pretty much good to go. Um, we'll build this into a dashboard. What I'll do is I'll just start by increasing the width a little bit. I like my dashboard slightly more widescreen because most screens are widescreen. Um, and then I'll just double click each and every one of them. This is the classic trick here where as you do that, Tableau automatically sort of lays them out. And I just want this to go to the bottom here. I'll grab this uh, tab here on the right hand side, delete all the containers. And now we're pretty much good to go. I'm now ready to show you what a Tableau bookmark is. Just gonna set this to fit the entire view. So we've got three sheets on our dashboard. Let's say I have a sheet that I'd like to add, but I don't wanna to have to rebuild it. And I know that that sheet exists in another workbook, All right? Let's go ahead and find that sheet. For this, I'm gonna hit the Tableau icon. This just takes us back to the start menu, but it doesn't close the workbook. It's a little trick here to get back to this interface. And I'm gonna open the sample workbook because this is where the sheet is gonna come from if you're following along. Let's click on that. And as we open that, uh, what's happening here is now I've got two workbooks open. Okay, so you can see them here. I've got the one in the background and the one opening right now, which is just a default workbook that comes with Tableau. I haven't done anything special to this. Okay, and what I'd like to do is I'd like to take this monthly sales by product category chart and actually add it to the one I just built. Okay, but I don't want to have to rebuild it. Now, one thing you could do, and uh, one thing I see a lot of people doing actually, is they open the sheet and they right click. Uh, and you can uh, copy this actually, and you can just uh, go over here. And if you just uh, right click here and you click paste, it's just happened off screen. What it will do is it will essentially copy the chart into the C and it brings the data source across, okay? So it's essentially exactly the same effect. Um, but the issue there is you've copied it um, it's in your paste bin and you can't get it back. So once you close your computer, you close Tableau, it's no longer in your paste bin. How do you make this something more persistent? That's exactly where a bookmark comes in, okay? And it has exactly the same effect, except for you just grabbing the file rather than uh, copying it from your paste bin. So let's just step back one so we don't have that item in our uh, worksheet. So we go back to how we were before. And let's go back, but this time, once I'm in the sheet, if I just drag this up here, I'm just gonna go to, <laughs> weirdly, if you go up here to the help or window, I can never remember which one it is. It's actually the window bar. It's in the most unsuspecting place. 
go to bookmark here and then create bookmark. And this will actually create a little file. And this file, we're gonna put it into our folder here. We're gonna overwrite the existing one here that we had. Uh, we'll just call this Tableau Bookmarks New. And I'm gonna save this, okay? So what this has done is it saved the information about the sheet into that file, exactly the same as copying the file. Now, if I go back to this workbook, what I can do is I can bring that bookmark in. And the way you do it is just by going to File and then selecting Open. It's a bit unintuitive because you'd think uh, you want to import something like Import Workbook, which also exists. But in this case, you just actually want to uh, open the file. And here, what you need to do is you make sure you select the right one. So this is the new one that we've created. So it's a .tbm file, Tableau Bookmark. And now if we open that, what should happen is I should get the exact same effect as copying it on there. You can see the exact same thing has happened. It's created a new sheet with the chart that we built and it's also copied the data source. So this is an important step here. If the data sources you're bringing in are the same, you don't need to have two duplicate data sources. So what you can do is you can right click on this, hit replace data source and then replace it with the existing one. So you don't have duplicate data sources. And bear in mind, I actually built this workbook in the American data source, but this workbook has come from the European data source. So we're gonna get a bug when we switch this over because there won't be an action. I didn't build any action into this workbook and there's actually an action here in the filters pane. So let's click okay. And as we do that, you see we get the inevitable error here. This is in red, this is fine. All we need to do is just drag that out of the pane and now it's working and I can go ahead and close the old connection that I no longer need. And boom, we've essentially brought in a chart into our workbook. And this is great because if you have a chart that you use time and time again, or you need something for inspiration and you wanna save them in a folder so you can come back to them tomorrow and figure out which one sits best in your workbook, this is a great way of doing that. If I go into the dashboard here, you can see that I can now bring that here on the right-hand side. And uh, we've essentially finished our dashboard. And this works just like any other sheet. Obviously it's part of your um, uh, visualization. So if I just enable the filters very quickly and I start clicking on these uh, uh, states, then you'll see the actions start working and actually works really, really well, okay? So that's pretty much it, Tableau Bookmarks. It's exactly the same as copying and pasting, except for you actually get to save the information into a file that you can use later on once you've closed Tableau and brought it into your workbook. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, um, you know what to do. Drop a comment below, let me know, subscribe, whatever, whatever it is YouTubers tell you to do, do that. Otherwise, if you didn't like it, uh, let me know below and we'll try and improve the quality of what we make. I'll catch you in the next one.